So it feels like every day a brand new urban commuter style bike is being presented to us. Now Troxxas is not new to the market, but they're new to this urban commuter style segment. This is a brand new bike by them called the Trax. It has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, a UL certified battery, and a range of upwards of 55 miles. But where does it fit in the grand scheme of things with the urban commuter segment? That's something we're going to find out here today. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now the Trax is a lightweight commuter style electric bike retailing for $15.99 and today we're riding it in silver but it also comes in dusk blue. It comes in two different sizes, small and medium. Small fits riders between 5 foot and 5 7 and medium fits riders between 5 7 and 6 3. Today I'm riding the medium and I'm 6 foot tall. Now as we take a wider look let's check out the frame. The frame is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum alloy. The fork is a coil suspension fork with 73 millimeters of travel. The tires on this bike are a Kenda multi-surface tire that are 27.5 by 2.2. Now the overall net weight of the bike with the battery is 57 pounds but it has a max load capacity of 300 pounds. Now that might seem a little low compared to other bikes I've featured here on the channel but do remember that this is a 350 watt motor. Speaking of the motor. This is a rear hub 48 volt 350 watt motor with 50 newton meters of torque. It'll also have a max speed of 20 miles per hour but has the potential to be unlocked. We will be putting this to the test today. Allowing you to be able to achieve that top speed is a 48 volt 10 amp hour battery pack. That's 480 watt hours of Samsung cells. Now this battery is UL certified and I have the UL certification right here up on the screen for you to be able to look up on your own. Now when you're riding this bike, you'll have the option to ride it either powered on or powered off. Riding it powered off, you'll have next to no resistance while being able to shift through all the gears. Powering it on, you'll have the option to be able to switch through a torque sensor or a cadence sensor in modes one through five. Now moving on up to the cockpit, you have Shimano Altus eight speed rapid fire shifters, ergonomic grips, a thumb throttle, color display with multi-functions with Bluetooth and USB charging, as well as hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. Now speaking of the brakes, you have Tektra hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors front and rear. Now with all that being said, let's get straight into the speed test and brake test. All right, so now for the speed test and brake test with the Troxxas Trax. Now this has pedal assist one through five, which we're gonna see what the top speeds are on each pedal assist level. And then we're gonna do a throttle only test straight to the brake test. Now I am using the bike GPS that you can find in the app store on iOS. So without further ado, Pedal this level one, hit and start. We are off. This torque center is pretty smooth. It's not bad. Speedometer on here is about a mile an hour off. Pedal this level two. Reaching about 18 miles per hour. Pedal this level three. Still hovering around that. About 19 miles per hour. Pedal assist level four. 20 on theirs. Pedal assist level five. Got a little bit of a jump there. 20 on mine. 20.8 on theirs. See if I can put a little bit more energy into that. There you go. I do feel limiter though, so yeah. So with that being said, let's get back there and try the throttle only and brake test. All right, so for throttle only, we're gonna be doing this in pedal assist level five only. See if we can even reach this top speed of 20 miles per hour. Me being 185 pounds, six foot tall, a little bit of a headwind. We'll see, not to mention that the brakes are 180 millimeter rotor on the front, 160 millimeter on the rear. We're gonna be locking on the rear, feathering the front to come to a complete stop. Right now we're sitting at 16 miles per hour throttle, 18. I feel the limiter on the bike already. Looks like we reached that top speed. Let's do a brake test here in three, two, one. Ooh, these things lock up really, really, really nice. Now let's break down the top speed in pedal assist one through five. I traveled a total distance of 1,462 feet with a max speed of 22.3 miles per hour and average speed of 18 miles per hour in 57 seconds. Now it being a 350 watt motor, that is impressive, but I did feel like it was a bit lackluster because I felt that limiter right at that 20 mile an hour section. Now, I was pedaling hard through it, but I did feel like it was pushing me back and I could only reach that 22.3 miles per hour without basically maxing out the gears. With that being said, why do they do this? That's a good question. Now, there are places in the EU that do have regulations and limitations on bikes, and that's why this 350 watt motor is only capable of this top speed. 
And these things are going to be coming to the U.S., which if you're interested in more information about legislation, regulations, and licenses when it comes to electric bikes, I have some videos in the description below for you to be able to check out. Now let's talk about the throttle only test. Now for throttle only, it says I traveled a total distance of 1,306 feet, but it actually was half of that because this was a round trip and I didn't hit stop until I got back. So I actually ended up traveling a total distance of about 600 feet with a max speed of 20.6 miles per hour and average speed of 14.4 miles per hour in roughly 45 seconds, which given the fact, like I said, it's a 350 watt motor, that limiter did kick on right at that 20 miles per hour and it did feel a bit sluggish. Now, with that being said, let's get right over to the hill test and see if it's capable of taking on the 15 degree grade. All right, so the trail is still closed around here and it seems to be getting worse. So uh, we're gonna have to find a new hill test here pretty soon. Got in pedal assist level five and we're off. Got in the hardest gear, let's pedal through it. Really solid torque sensor. We're gonna have to go around this. Bit of a bump here, stand up. Push through that. Coming up to this first turn, doing 14 miles per hour. Cut it tight. Feeling pretty good though. No lagging in the motor at all. Nice and solid. Coming up to that second turn. Cut hard. Final straightaway. It's downshift a little bit. 11 miles per hour. 12, pretty consistent, no lagging. As we come to the peak, once continued in pull. Let's try out the throttle only. I wanna show how bad this is, look at this. Insane. All right, so that was the pedal assist, pretty consistent, torque sensor is pretty intuitive. Didn't feel any lagging there with the motor at all. Let's make a UE and we're gonna try this throttle only out and see if we can reach that Anywhere, at least anywhere near that top speed of 20 miles per hour. So let's get going, dead stop. Pretty consistent right there. 10 mile an hour, 12 miles an hour. Looks like if I go real tight right here to the right, I might be able to be a little better. Hovering at 10 miles per hour right now. I will say that it feels like it's struggling a little bit and we're not even at the 15 degree grade part. Gonna hold the throttle around the turn. Bring some pep here. Now, like I said earlier, this is a 350 watt motor doing 15 miles per hour. Gonna feather the front and try to cut it to keep the speed up. Throttle out of the turn. This is the steepest part of the hill. We are at eight miles per hour right now crawling but I don't feel like it's like sagging I don't feel the motor sagging I just feel it I just feel it kind of really working at it right now we're still at eight miles per hour coming up to the peak 15 degree grade come on we can make it <laughs> and we've made it so in closing, the Troxxas Trax does basically everything it claims it can do. I mean, yes, it probably can get 55 miles of range, but that's more so if you're in pedal assist level one and being very, very conservative with the energy output. With that being said, a couple of things I would change right off the bat would be the seat and the pedals. They're not necessarily my favorite components on this bike, but other than that, this bike is really, really well put together. At this price point, I do think it's worth it to even take a look. So if you have a Troxxas dealer near you, definitely take a test ride. If you guys are interested in this bike or any other bikes by them, feel free to click the link in the description below. If you guys like this video, drop a like if you love it. Hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.